YouTube. How you doing? <laughs> this is my beautiful little baby, baby doggy Taz. Say hi. <laughs> All right. How you doing, YouTube? This is your girl Angel loving me. Um, coming to do my 25 week update today. I am 25 weeks in two days, so yay, that's an accomplishment. I have up to 15 weeks left, um, so I'm over halfway there, and I'm excited to, you know, report, um, you know, what's been going on with me um, ever since week 24, so here I am. I'm going to try to do my reports every Sunday, um, so today's Sunday, and you'll be seeing me next Sunday on week 26 so all right here we go um as you know i'm having a baby girl and in case you didn't know um what her name was i want you to kind of you know be familiar with her before she arrives um my baby girl name is serenity joy her name is serenity joy and i went with serenity mainly because i wanted to have a name with meaning and um you know, not just meaning, but with the spiritual meaning behind it. So I chose Serenity Joy, and I thought it was really nice, you know. Anybody who knows about the Serenity Prayer knows that that's a positive prayer. It, um, you know, encourages you to accept the things you cannot change, change the things that you can, and have the wisdom to know the difference. But you got to have serenity to have that. So, <laughs> that's why I thought that was good. Serenity is nothing but positive. So, that is her name. And, um, pretty much, I just kind of wanted to go, you know, through the symptoms that I've been having um, since week 24. And, they really haven't changed um, besides the fact that I have had an increase in heartburn. Um... The other night, you know, it, it's, it's gotten so bad to the point where I've actually have to go to the store and get me some Tums. So, hopefully she has a head full of hair. <laughs> um, I heard that that was a myth. You know, if, you're, if you have heartburn, then, you know, your baby will come out with a head full of hair. And everybody wants a little girl with a whole lot of hair. So, maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. Um, besides that, um, she's just been pretty much doing the same thing. Um, she's tapping on my bladder, um, which is very aggravating, but, you know, you kind of got to deal with it anyway. Um, I've noticed also a change in my face. <laughs> um, after I have her, you'll be able to tell, but, you know, this is, what, this is how you see me now. But she's pretty much, let me get a little closer. All right. She's growing in my nose. All right, so this is not how big my nose is. This is because of serenity. My nose has swelled up like on the sides, and like when I press on the sides, it's kind of like really hard <laughs> because I have a lot of fluid, you know. And also my cheeks have swelled up a little bit, and you know I got the glow, but I got the swell. So um, I just kind of noticed that, but I try to drink a lot of water um, to make sure you know the fluid comes out and I don't retain a lot of fluid um, just because you're pregnant doesn't mean that you should eat for two uh, I mean I understand if you are hungry then eat don't deprive yourself but um, since this is my third child I've decided to kind of go through things in a different way um, so what I do is I take a lot of mineral supplements um, I make sure I take my iron um, I have very good iron tablets that have a lot of folic acid. And I also take um, a mineral um, in the form of a juice, which curbs my appetite, but also provides the baby um, enough nutrients so, you know, she can be healthy and, you know, I won't, I won't be so hungry, but yet full at the same time. So that's pretty much um, all of my symptoms. Um, and... Um, let's go to the baby buys. The baby buys. <laughs> All right, so here are a few of my baby buys. It's always good to purchase ahead. So, you know, it's good to purchase ahead. You can go all the way to two months, 2T, 3T. 
um, whatever, you know, you think is cute. And, you know, just make sure it right matches the right size for, you know, the right season. So, I purchased this. It's a little winter coat. I got it from Babies R Rust and it has the little hood to it. All of my clothes that I purchase that are able to be hung up, like coats and things of that nature, uh, I put on a hanger. So this is a pink hanger. Um, again, I purchased it for Babies R Rust for $19.99. And I thought it was worth it because, um, you know, when she's this age, she'll be able to fit into this around the winter time. So I thought that was good. I also purchased this little jumper. Isn't that cute? It has the ruffles on the shoulder part and the little bow with the little, you know, shiny fake diamond right here. And it's leopard print, pink, black, and white. I purchased this for, from Kmart three to six months. And the material. Excuse me, I'm sorry. The material is like a satin, so it's going to be perfect for the um, summertime. I also purchased this bib, Pretty Like Mommy. <laughs> I thought that was cute, so I had to get it, and it wasn't that much. I um, got this from Kmart as well. I also purchased this long sleeve onesie. It says single and loving it. Six months from Target. She's going to be in the long sleeves when she's about six months. So this was a good buy and I thought it was cute. And mostly all girls, no matter what size, love a pair of leggings. So she's going to be a little cutie pie in these newborn leggings. It's not a bad thing to buy newborn. Newborn items are not a bad thing to buy. These were purchased from Babies R Us. They were on sale for $5.98. And also purchased um, a size just like these in nine months. So if you come across a good buy, you know, if you have the money, um, it, it's not a bad idea to buy a bigger size in the same pair you know because of course they grow so those are a few of my baby buys um next week i'm probably going to go register at um babies r us and target so i'm going to have a registry there and i'm going to talk more about that you know my registry and what i what i found what i thought was interesting in probably my next video um Next, I'm going to go over kind of what my baby looks like. Um, from week 22 to week 24, and currently week 25, she's grown a lot. So, she's went from a papaya to an eggplant. And, they're saying this is what she is now. <laughs> you know, this is just kind of like an estimate, but... From a papaya to an eggplant. 25 to 28 so pretty much in these weeks 25 to 20 28 they're saying the baby is getting her immune system ready by soaking up lots of antibodies her eyes are forming too so within the next week or so um, she will be opening her eyes which is a big accomplishment so just make sure you know around this time I know the baby has already went through their major points as far as they're growing but it's, it's always good to make sure you take care of yourself because these developmental stage are very important too so um that's just always good to know you know how your baby is doing every week so that's what's going on with serenity as far as her excuse me i'm sorry <laughs> this light keeps going on um going off excuse me as far as her development goes on um um, as far as me, um, I have an appointment tomorrow with my OBGYN doctor, which whom I love so much. Um, he's great, and I'm very comfortable with him. 
Um, and then she, she, he's pretty much just going to, you know, check the development. Well, excuse me, check the heartbeat. And then I have another appointment the next day, February the 5th, in which they're going to do an ultrasound. And, um, you know, just, just check to see, you know, if she's doing all right, which I know she is. And, you know, just to do an update on her, you know, growth and things of that nature. Um, so I think I'm pretty much done, you know. Uh, those are pretty much the basics. Uh, as far as, you know, what's been going on uh, that I feel like I need to share with you. Um, my tummy hasn't got that much bigger, but I can, I guess, show you because, you know, everyone wants to see, everybody wants to see a belly shot. So, Serenity's in here sleep right now. So, <laughs> hopefully this doesn't wake her up. So, let me do a belly shot. And again, I, I'm a very personal person, so I really, I'm not going to show my whole belly, but I'll, I'll show you her. All right, there's Serenity. Raw, 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 raw. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> there she is from the front, 25 weeks and two days. From the side, 25 weeks, two days. Now you see it? No, you don't. Now you see it? No, you don't. <laughs> Here's my little belly band. Now you see it? No, you don't. Now you see it? Now you don't. All right. Hopefully that didn't wake her. Well, here's some positive notes for the week. Pregnant women, you can work out. Don't let yourself go. I know it's a hard time, but to feel your baby move and bounce around and knowing that you're about to bring a life into this world is an abundance of blessings. God will bless you for being a blessing to that baby. So take care of yourself. Don't let it bring you down. Do anything positive you can to keep going because before you know it, it's going to be over and you're going to miss your baby bump, but you're going to have your beautiful baby. Alrighty. I'll see you next time. See you at week 26. Peace.